guesses <laughs> after trying to be hijacked <laughs> with Jamie Ben... Oh, Benoit. Benoit. Nice to meet you, sir. Good to see you. It is. It's, it's, it, it is. It's, it makes you want to say Benoit. It really does. It really does. It really does. If you're, it, unless if you're a telemarketer, it's Benoit. Benoit. <laughs> well, fantastic that they do this every two weeks, is it? Oh, it's very good. They should do it weekly. <laughs> well, then I think maybe licensing laws, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. That is so true. what do you do in the industry? I'm a naval architect with Marine Associates. So I, uh, I would work Marine, on... Marine okay. Marine Associates, based in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. So uh, we work on motor yachts, cruise ships, commercial boats, primarily structure and mechanical systems. And uh, so they design the product that we integrate it into the boat structure. So you, you have a technical end? Yes. You're the guys who know how to make this stuff work? Uh, yes. We're, <laughs> we try to make it happen. Yeah. So how did you get into the industry? Uh, I grew up on Long Island Sound, uh, not uh, actually in the water, but nearby. Long Island, where's that? Uh, up in uh, between Connecticut and New York. Okay. So, um, Long Island Sound. Yep, it's a body of water just east of New York City. What's Long Island? That's a portion of New York. That's a completely different area. Completely different area, okay. but right. uh, so I grew up in the Northeast on Long Island Sound, and uh, on the weekends I worked on a dinner cruise vessel. And uh, so I was always interested in boats. Family. Were you driving the boat or were you serving? Um, I was in charge of washing the boat. So uh, every now... Not the planes. No complaints, yeah. <laughs> the so boats. The boat, yeah. So, so we docked. I did uh, line handling, dock, deck hand work, uh, miscellaneous uh, navigation, driving, whatever needed to be done. So I grew up doing that. Uh, our family had a boat. And in general, just boats became a passion. So I've kind of followed my passion, and uh, so it's in your blood, it's in your DNA. It's, it's in the DNA. Cool. So what? You went and then trained. So then uh, I went to a school just for naval architecture called Webb Institute. So it's a four-year program in just naval architecture and marine engineering. Uh, it's located in uh, Glen Cove, New York, oh, on okay. Long Island. Well, no, because in England, there's only Southampton is the only place. That's to the do place, it. absolutely. Yeah. We have an exchange program with your school as well. All oh, right. So. Did you do that? No, it started after I graduated. Oh, oh, oh you did miss it. <laughs> <laughs> but I have been to Southampton though. Yeah, Southampton's great. Yes, very good. Great. Southampton, London. Leave it at that. Leave it at that. Leave okay. It at that. Fair enough. So, what, what was your first job out of out of college? Oddly enough, still Marine Associates. I interned with them for two years, or two over the course of two years, and joined them full time. So you've had one job. One job. Yep, it's a rarity that these days. Anymore, does Not it? so much anymore. So I'm uh, in year 16, going full time now. We just interviewed um, an Italian guy who's had probably 33 jobs. jobs. Is that how many jobs? Do you know him? No. All right. Yeah. Nobody. <laughs> From Turkey to Australia to Ukraine to America to England. To yeah, <laughs> all over the place. All over the place. Well, I said I'd give it a few years, and uh, here I am. Uh, I'm still so, having a good time. And I assume that they're treating you well, and yeah, it's good. Yeah. So, what, what, what is it? Do you get excited about what you do, or is it more? Yeah, do you get excited about what you do? Absolutely. Every day is different. Every customer is different. So every job is different. So the way I, I'm fortunate enough to be able to say I've never worked a day in my life because everything is uh, a lot of fun and yeah, still enjoy it. So. so naval architecture, if somebody's looking, watching this and they're thinking of going into that, yep. um, the basics are math and science. Uh, yes, yeah, sa safety of the boat. Um, one, making sure it floats, floats upright, safety of the passengers, guests and crew. Um, um, and then uh, these days it's uh, implementing a uh, owner request of uh, different products, um, staying current with the times, various modifications. Yeah. So. I, I was um, speaking to um, Mark Environment from Lurson a couple of years ago. Yep. And he was adamant nothing new was going on his boats. Sick and tired for change orders, he's not going to the owners of this. And he made a very valid point because yeah. got, he's got a shoulder the responsibility of it Absolutely. breaking. It's yeah. his brand, it's his boat that's going to be, um, oh, look at it, whatever it is has gone wrong. Yeah. And so it, it made sense, and that's why the industry takes a long time to change. Yeah. New products are coming on board. Yeah. And I think with something like Quantum, that's starting to happen. No, I'm, talking out of, I'm talking out of step here. But you can see where I'm going with that? Yeah. So <laughs> there's often a, 
um, a desire to stay with something that's proven, something yeah. that's uh, you know the old. Especially when it's like a 100 meter boat. It's well, that and people, risky. people's lives are involved with it. Yeah. You know, so yeah, there's definitely. Um, Do you have to sign like a waiver that you're personally responsible? Uh, not in, in in the literal sense, but it's uh, it's often implied. You know, so we will come. We know where you live. <laughs> it's uh, often implied, but you know, it's kind of comes with the with the business. So you kind of shoulder that. So it's it's uh, you know. The, you, you, it's part of part of what we do. So, in what you're doing, you're looking out for the safety and the welfare of people in the decisions you make. What's so. the worst thing you've seen on a boat? The worst thing I've seen on a boat. Oh wow! I can uh, help you. Yes. What's, what's the worst thing you've seen on an Italian on an Italian boat? On an Italian boat. Um, wow. I'm not a fan of transom mounted rudders, but uh, I, I guess if I really thought my oh, ways, I could could come up with some. <laughs> but. Um, Worst thing on a boat. Wow. I mean, there's some novel things out there, but... Uh, Novel's a nice way of putting it. Yeah. I was on a... I won't say the name of the yard, we'll keep that one out. But they had done an electrical run of cable, and it was about 100 foot long, and they changed colours about four or five times. Oh, that'll... And so trying to track it through was just a, a nightmare. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Wow. I can imagine. Yeah, You're no, not you... Us anything, are you? No, <laughs> I wish I could. Fresh. This is the professionalism in you. Yeah, I wish I could say <laughs> there, are, there are a bunch of novel things out there, but uh, yeah. yeah so. Okay, so that's the way we can address now of uh, interesting things in the market. It's a novel way of doing that. It's a novel way of doing things, that's yes. That's a novel way of doing that. <laughs> That's a, strategy, a solution strategy others have not explored. <laughs> so. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Oh, it's you're nice welcome. You. Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. Card. Uh, you know, a card. Like a credit card? Oh, oh.